Good morning everyone, it's 6.44 a.m. Saturday the 9th of January and we are all watched over by our dear leaders and their amazing telegram. Telegram telescreen messages. That's a big one. You can't tell the scale of it but it's many meters across and a few meters high. It's a beast. Ho, ho, ho. It's about, what time is it, guys? It's uh, 7.25 a.m. And check out the moon. Let's see what we can do with this uh, Huawei P30D. Let's see. Oh, yep. I love how when you can only see a bit of the moon, you can actually see the whole moon. I think that's always cool. Okay, guys. A drift sculpted 113 years ago by John Cassidy. Now... Humanity adrift on the sea of life, depicting sorrow and dangers, hopes and fears, and embodying the dependence of human beings upon one another, the response of human sympathy to human needs, and the inevitable dependence upon divine aid. And it's my favorite statue in all of Manchester, and it's featured in my videos at least, well, it's probably the fourth time now. It's just incredible the way the... He sticks his arm up, you know? It's almost like he's defying evil. And he's holding people up. He's holding her up. He's got his kids at the back. He is saying no to it all. See, there's the mother there looking after the wee babby. Give that babby a kiss. And you've got glorious man sticking his arm up. I love that. So defying of just, you know loss and uh, giving up. He's not giving up. Morning all. What are we doing at, at 7 a.m. then? Why, why are we up early in Manchester? Well, couldn't sleep. So I'm going down Piccadilly Gardens and uh, a guy on a bike goes, hey Charlie, love your work, keep up the good work. And then he goes, hey, can I talk to you? And I said, of course. So he goes, uh, I'm a contractor, I'm a builder. And guess what I was working on? I said, I don't know. He goes, I've been working on the Northwest office of GCHQ. That is the government body. It's kind of like, um, yeah, telecommunications. I guess it's our version of the NSA in America. All about uh, intercepting comms, hacking computers, preventing hacks, etc., etc. And he goes, he goes, Charlie, the one thing that pissed me off the most is that in their main hall, they had a 80,000 pound monitor television thing. And I was like, 80 grand, how big was it? He goes, he said, it's like the kind of TV or screen you'd see in like a, a nuclear war room in the bunker. Or a supervillain would have a giant screen so he could see the whole world at once. And, I said, and he goes, do you know what they were using it for? I said, what? Tracking nukes? Seeing the latest uh, North Korean hacks? He goes, no, just for television. So guys, you taxpayers, so that you can have these um, civil servants in telecommunications watch TV. 80,000 pounds for a television. Anyway, we're here now. Let me turn the camera around. The town hall, city hall of Manchester. Apparently, it's all getting renovated to create one of Europe's finest civic spaces. But uh, it's just my luck. I seem to always catch the renovations. I never seem to enjoy the finished product. I mean, it's just by sheer providence and luck that they finished the M60 smart motorways around Manchester because that was a bit stressful, having to travel at 50 miles an hour upon pain of average speed checks. So here we are. Anyway, guys, see this? It's called Heron House, not Heroin House. That would be in Edinburgh. This is Heron, the bird, Heron House. And in here, this building is a government thing. Does anyone know what GCHQ stands for? I think we can guess what HQ stands for, but what does um, GC? Government Communications? Headquarters? Probably. So you've got Heron House. Let's see if we can get the security guard to freak out. Let's see if we can, because that's, uh, you know, 
Imagine I got arrested. Start of the year for filming government communications. Further to this, further to this. All very exciting. Okay, I'm on one of his screens. Let's see if I can see what he's looking at. What is he looking at? He's looking at reception. Oh, oh, he's told me off already. He came and caught me. He caught me on video. There's this. Oh, look at that. Good morning. How are you? This is GCHQ. That's government communications headquarters. And me. So he's not allowed to take a picture of here. I'm not allowed to take a picture of it. Yeah. Are you sure? Yeah. Are you sure? I'm not allowed to take a picture of this building. Yeah, well, is there a sign that I could see that says I'm not allowed to take a? That's okay. Do you, are you? Sorry. Yeah. Yeah. How about if I promise you from the bottom of my heart, I'm not a terrorist and I'm not a Russian spy. I'm not even a Chinese spy. Not even Chinese spy. Yeah. No, of course, but I am. Yeah. No, of course. Yeah. Okay, well, let's, I mean, the way I see it, I'll tell you why. I, I do YouTube, yeah? YouTube video. You know what YouTube is? YouTube? Yeah, yeah. I do funny stuff, and some guy who worked in there, he bumped into me, he goes, Charlie, I love your videos. They spend 80,000 pounds on one television. So I find that interesting. So I'm here. But look, nothing against you. I just, I just want to let you know about that. No, but I think you're wrong, sir. I am, because I'm stood in public. This is a public street. I can point my photon collection device at anything. Is that... How can it be up to me if you've told me I'm not allowed to? It's okay. Anyway, have a good day. My name's Charlie Veach, if you need to know my name. It's okay. See, they lose their balls. There's no real fucking authority here. You're not allowed to do it, but he's like, suit yourself, have, have a good time, whatever. Not even interested in my name. Best Jason Bourne ever. But this is rare, guys. It says very rare. But for me, to film a building and for them to come out. But as you saw, very tame. That That's certainly not the 80 grand TV there. That's just a shitty normal TV. He's on the phone. He's on the phone to report me. Come on. We were getting on so well. The rapport was so good. Jeez, look at that. Okay, kids, just for one last time before we leave, where is GCHQ? Northwest Town Hall, main entrance, directly across Heroin House. Sorry, Heron House. Okay, I'm just walking up towards Market Street again with my friend John, who works in the city. And he turns to me and he goes, "You didn't hear about that guy that got stabbed last night here in Manchester?" And I said, "What? So what? What happened, John?" Well, unfortunately, speak, make sure you speak up quite a bit. Unfortunately, um, with this tier five, yeah, it's now become impossible for the homeless to survive. Yeah, so they're now resorting to attacking each other. And the, yeah. um, we've had a serious incident behind the spa last night where it's resulted in a fatality. The spa just here. And I think if anything needs to be done, we need to get some people from the town hall out hitting these homeless people and giving them the support and the money yeah. and the housing they need. At the moment, I'm not seeing a lot of it. I'm seeing bits and bobs where people are getting taken into hotels, but yeah. I'm still seeing rough sleepers on the streets. Yeah. Now, if the public are going to help, please help them, because these guys are making nothing. Yeah. I mean, they are making nothing. And so please have a heart. Have a bit of compassion. Yeah. Understand these lads are living in brutal conditions. Yeah. 
and the last thing we want is them turning on each other. No, so tell me more about this stabbing. What what, what do you know about it? Did the kid die? Did uh, the guy die? The, I went to the spa last night and yeah. the guy who works there, who we know pretty well, said, have you heard, do you, do you know who, who it was last night? Yeah. No, he said, do you know who it was two hours ago? Yeah. I said, what are you on about? He said, there was a stabbing behind the, the back of the spa. There's yeah. been fatality. Fatality, so yeah, it's probably yes, going to be on the news yes, today, so isn't it? It'll be a murder today on the news. My God. So, you know, people need to realise that this homeless thing is not a fucking joke. It's no. not a game. No. These are human beings who have got mental health problems. They've, they're broken people. They've lost everything in life. Yeah. Yeah. And they need help. Yeah. They need support. They yeah. don't need a tax. They don't need subjected to vile yeah. abuse by people they don't know. No, of if course. If you're going to get out of bed, fine. If yeah. you're going to get out of bed and help someone on the street, fine. But yeah. don't get out of bed to fucking abuse him. No, of course. And unfortunately, he's got a small majority of people who are doing that at the moment. Yeah. Can I just remind those people who are doing that, we're on tier five. Yeah. And people who are living on the streets are finding it very, very, very difficult. Yeah. These people who are doing that have got doors to go home to. Yeah. So the people who are doing it, be very, very proud of yourselves. We've got a fatality tonight. And that is awful. Do you know who, did anyone get arrested for stabbing, for killing not, the guy? Not that I know of yet. Not, not that yet. I know of. We'll see what goes on today. But yeah, yeah. It's, it's a tragic Without thing, giving right? any names away, do you have any suspects that you think it might be, or have you got no idea? No idea. No all. idea. I keep myself to myself. Yeah. Um, but yeah, we'll find out later on today. Cool. Well, thank you, John. Always a pleasure to bump into you and get your stories. And thank you. you. Look after yourself. And no God worries. Bless.